Hi guys, here's the second one I listed today. It is made from a vintage, uh, uh, an old vintage book, and it has this silky silk tie on it. So we're going to take that off, and that's what closes it. it just wraps around there, and it's called Family Pride. It's from a uh, the author is. Let me see, get the string off of there. Uh, okay. It's stuck. Stuck to that dangle. There we go. Uh, the author is Mary J. Holmes, and it's from a vintage, it's a vintage book cover, and I've reinforced the spine. It's five inches wide by seven and a half inches long. It has a one and one quarter inch spine, has three signatures. Each, so each signature has 16 pages. Uh, which equals 14, uh, 48 pages per signature with 96 sides that you can write on and journal on and add pictures. It's uh, like a blue, gray, beautiful color. It's got this beautiful lady on the front. Um, I've used lots of stuff in this. Let's take a look. We have a pocket here in the front with a ticket cluster and some uh, ephemera you can use. This is just a little pocket here. I have no fingernails left because I cut them off. So nothing of it. I've used some rusty paper clips. This is ephemera added to. I've used Amity Bloom um, vintage wallpaper digital and I tea dyed it. So, and this just fits over the top here on the page. You can paper, take the paper clip off. I use some vintage lace, and here on the very edge, I don't know if I, you can see it or not, has it's a really light blue on this very edge here. It's just beautiful. I used coffee dyed papers in here. I used uh, typing paper. I used uh, colored paper. There, there's a metal book dart you can use. I used some uh, like tracing paper. I think it's glassine paper, sure. There's another ticket cluster. There's some more Amity Bloom wall, uh, wallpaper. Um, there's another tuck spot with some uh, ephemera. Let's see what else. There's lots of writing room in here and to add your own pictures and like movie tickets and stuff like that. This is some ephemera added in here. It's a playing card. It's an old check. Um, second signature has this on it, which flips out and it has a pocket with a card in it. This is a silky ribbon and some lace and stuff on there. Let's see, we use some map pages. A lot of these pages fold out because they were too long. Onion skin paper. This is from an old vintage uh, antique book. Straw paper, which folds out. There's a double belly band I made on this page. And you get an, a vintage uh, book page here that you can use. It's got some pictures on it. And then you get a vintage uh, prescription that you can use. Let's see, there's the center of the second signature. That's just paper clipped on there. It's an old vintage picture. The other half of the straw paper. Um, let's see what else. There's a tuck spot on there and some uh, ephemera. It's so pretty. And there's a pocket with an old 1918 letter, as you can see, tucked in there. And we have a little charm on there. more coffee dyed. This is just a little pocket, a little tag in it. This is another tuck spot and it's got a 
Brooks name card on there and a little uh, notepad I made. This is some handmade paper. This is out of an old book. Um, this is out of an old date book. Into a really small date book. That was kind of cute. There's another tuck spot with a couple pieces of ephemera in it. And this is a mica tile that I added napkin on the back of it and glued it on here as a tuck spot. And you get this little um, file folder with it tucked in there. Mica tile. There's that other half of the handmade paper. There's a ticket cluster. You could probably tuck something underneath that. And then on the back, we have another pocket with some ephemera here and uh, my label with my name and the year I made it. And then this pocket. I love this. I think it's so pretty. And let those just tuck in there. And that is it. Like I said, I've reinforced the spine. And it's a hidden spine. And it's just a beautiful journal. It is in my Etsy store. There will be a link to this, to my Etsy store in the description below. And please give me a thumbs up if you think about it. It helps the algorithm. And I appreciate it. Thank you. See you next time.